What's up, boys and girls? Mystery Man here at Spike Punch Studios. Uh, gonna play some Outer Wilds. This game was released a while back, and I've heard a lot of good things about it, so, you know, um, I heard something really cool about it, but I don't want to spoil the little twist, but I'm curious to see how cool it is. Well, let's do a new expedition, and let's get this going. How have you guys been? All three of you. Oh. <coughs> oh. Wake up. Oh, what's that up there? Uh. Okay. What's up, Slate? There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly, here you are. Leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say, ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. I'm ready if you are. Are you kidding? Of course I'm ready. It's finally time to test the new landing hydraulics with a pilot instead of an auto flight system. Speaking of pilots, make sure you don't crash the ship the first time you put it down, you hear? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch code from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay, launch codes. Okay, that's how I jump. Oh, you gotta hold and release. Okay. Ooh, fly model ship. Oh. That's cool. Okay. Observatory. Right? Is that what it's that set up? Ooh, I like that music. Observatory. There's no signs or anything. Ah! Observatory. Hey, what's up? Doing a little fishing. This is really uh, relaxing. ZRG, oh, what's that say? Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. I got zero G training set up if you want a refresher. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Oh, I gotta give him a different voice. Nerves getting the better of you? Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Good, everyone should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Still, I was never as green as you. Hey, I've gotten better. Think so, do you? Feel like proving it to your old flight coach? There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece <coughs> Ugh, sorry. <coughs> oh, wow. Choked on my own spit. There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the Zero-G cave in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute Zero-G practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't. As long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Yeah, let's go ahead and repair it. Okay. This is deep. Look, I can see my little tootsies. Oh, what? Wow, this is neat. Suit up. Hey boss, what you doing down there? Tough. I don't want to talk to him. I'm just going. 
fix the satellite. Oh. Ah. Oh, sorry, I'm not talking at all. I was very much focused. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. Lock on. Oh, I got a match velocity. Oh, damn. This is hard. Okay. I wasn't close enough. Okay. Repaired. Next one. Here we go. Oh, shit. Ah! Did not... Match velocity. Repair. And we're fixed. Uh, okay, I could not remember how to get out of here. That's pretty neat. Okay, up here. Dude, I'm a baller. Oh, where was it? Uh, ha ha! Well, that was neat. Now we're for the long ride up. Can I see above me? Oh, a little bit. Okay. Later, dude. Oh. Yep. Turn out. I see you're itching to get off this rock, so go to the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. <clears throat> okay. Uh, observatory. I guess it's that big thing right over there. I guess it's an old man at the observatory. <clears throat> What's up, Hal? Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the Translator Tools inaugular, inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think you'll be able to translate any Know My Text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez, don't break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. And I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? Terrified! Ah, oh, don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this day since you were hatchlings, remember? You'll do great. I promise. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Nomai statue? Nope, just here for the launch codes. Yeah, I guess you're dying to head out into space, but seriously, you've got to see the statue before you go. It's an amazing find. Makes me wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, and you know, and for how old it is, it's in great shape. Oh, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on your ship. Okay. Launch codes. So, I just want the launch codes. Ooh. A lot of stuff to read in here. But I want to fly. What's up, Horn Hornfells? There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations, and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than you than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Well, thank you. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Um, 
I'll meet up with other travelers. You're going to check in with them, are you? Not a bad plan. No one knows the solar system better than other astronauts. Let's see. Chert is on the Hourglass Twins, Ryback on Brittle Hollow, and Gabbro is on Giant's Deep, last I checked. And, well, there, there's Feldspar, obviously. But, of course, we don't know where they are, or if they're even alive. Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. On a more cheerful note, you'll find Esker stationed in the Adel Rock. They're not a traveler so much as a lunar local, but I'm sure they'd appreciate a visit nonetheless. Well then, looks like all that's left to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to get off this rock. Excellent, you'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground. Oh, view the map. That's where he was telling me people were. Whoa. This is awesome. Brittle Hollow. What's this? A giant's Deep. Dark Bramble. I want to hit the interloper. Is that a comet, I take it? <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Oh, space rock. That's cool. I just want to get out into space. Uh. Is that everything I just did? So if I would have done different shit with, uh... Uh... Yeah. Whoa, the statue was doing what? So it's eyes open and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense. But are you sure you're going to be okay to launch, like, medically speaking? Uh, you know what, don't worry about it. Maybe you should sit down for a bit and take it easy. I'd hate for anything bad to happen if you tried to launch while you're not feeling great. But hey, when you're ready, you can make some of a translator tool. I can't believe it. It's all grown up and leaving for space already. Wait, I see the guy that talked to me at the beginning of song giving him the wrong voice. Oh well. For real though, I'm glad you're the one carrying it, not like Ryback. They'd fall on it for sure. Say so if you want a short trip to scurry out space later, you can check out the runes on Adrock. I'd love to learn what those are. Good luck, it's a fine. Okay. Get me to that launch tower. Little logging tram. Uh That's the launch tower, I take it. Okay. Oh, that's the guy I talked to in the beginning. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. Oh, does that mean, uh, I don't have autopilot avoidance? <clears throat> I'm gonna die. Okay. Hello? Um. Okay. Okay. And here we go. Oh.
Sorry, I'm just kind of blown away. This is freaking awesome. There was something going around the sun. But now I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Cat. That's the Ash Twin. Okay, yeah. Oh, what's that? Dark Bramble. Oh, that's the Interloper, isn't it? Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh. Note to self. Don't hit the comet. Oh. This is trippy as hell. Got the launch codes? Okay. Already got them from the observatory. Huh, it must be an alien more fumes than I realized. That stuff is potent. Well, you got the codes. So when I die. Okay, okay. So when I die, <clears throat> it respawns me back there. But I've already set, I've got progress. It goes back in time, but I keep my progress, I guess. Okay. What if I, like, just fly to the other side of this world? Oh. Well, that's pretty tight. Lights on, put that away. I want to land on this. Uh, unbuckle. I get out. Oh yeah, through here. <clears throat> Wait, I don't have I don't have a spacesuit. Well that sucks. Do I have a spacesuit in there? What is that thing that's busting up out there? All right. I'm glad he doesn't ask me every time about the launch codes. Okay. Do I need to get a space suit? Is there one in here? Suit up. Okay. 
<laughs> I guess I should have done that last time. Okay. Here we go. Whoa. Let's go to the twins. Just can't get too close to the sun. Wrong button. Ember twin, ash twin. I want to go to the ash twin, huh? This is going to be tough. Okay. Oh. Okay. Invert is. Oh. Sure, why not? Okay, suit up. Open hatch. Okay, here we go, guys. Wow. What's it's like tethered by something. So I got fuel and oxygen. Okay. Let's see what's on this plant. This is really neat, to be honest. <clears throat> Ooh, what's that? Unidentified signal nearby. What is this? Get in it. Sarah, what's... Oh. There's an unknown signal on, man, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. So that was, how do I, Is this supposed to show me something? This is cool, but I have no idea what I'm doing. What do we have here? Translate. The Sunless City. Sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm just kind of blown away by how cool this is. This game is really well done. Oh, hey. Ow. So, how do I get through there? Ugh.
That's cool. Okay. There I am. Alright. Ow. I'm going to need something to get through there. So apparently this is not where I'm supposed to go first. What's this? Ah. Ow. Come on, let me down. Uh, I just want to see what this is. Oh, oxygen tank refilled. Okay, ooh, what's this? Oh. Um, translate, okay. Let's translate. I fear situation may be dire. Hi, Pokemon. I've landed here on this comet not long after its arrival in the star system. Shows the energy rays for somewhere beneath the surface. A fissure in the ice. Send it in to investigate the source of the readings. But, Pi and my sister have gone for a long time now. They haven't come into this post. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Pope Pi, come back to me safely, my friends. So they're on the comet. I guess. Okay. What is happening? And I'm back here. So that took me back. Where's... Where does it... So that took me back. How do I? Where does this even take me? Does this just give me a, a view of what's going on? And then when I put it back in the middle, it returns me home. Okay, back to the ship. Wow, man, this is like, this is a trip, I'm telling you. Man, I'm sorry, this, I'm really not, I'm trying to, com like, have a commentary going on here, but this is just so cool to me. I mean, I've always dreamed of going to space, so this is so fun. Like, what is all this stuff? What is that? Okay, so this thing's g generating power to something. Okay. All right, all right. So next time on uh, Spike Punch Studios, we're going to... Uh, find out what's going on with this little power station thing here. 
It's been good. Spread the word, you freaking turd.